Hi, how are you doing? Hope you're all well and safe and having a great day. I'm having a great day. The sun's shining and it's a much better day than we've had um, over the weekend. The weekend, the Evans absolutely opened and we had thunderstorms and lightning and everything going off, which inspired me to paint this picture. So um, this video is all about the painting of this in Rebel 4 using acrylics actually. I didn't realize I was using acrylics when I started, but uh, that's what it, uh, I ended up using um, eventually and uh, happy accident really, because I'm really pleased with the result. This is actually uh, part two of a series of two videos. So the first one talks about how I came up with the idea for painting this and um, how I composed the scene and produced a charcoal sketch for uh, setting me off to paint this. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'll put a link in the description below so you can see the uh, prequel to uh, this video and this painting. I mean, said all that, I'll stop talking now. Let's get straight into the painting. Okay, this is part two of um, a painting process from sort of coming up with the concept of the painting through to the finished painting. And in, if you watch part one, I'll put a link in the description below. You, you, it's, I advise you to watch that one first. But I created a pencil, uh, charcoal sketch, I, I guess, of my um, idea. And I am going to... Um, import that I think yeah let's import I was going to initially I was just going to import this lot. let me just show you I've opened up uh, Windows Explorer and dragged this image onto the canvas this was like the first stage but thinking about it I am going to go back to my uh, storm stormy cloud and bring in the actual um, finished sketch so there we are that's it that's the finished sketch that is what i'm going to uh, paint over so this is going to be interesting to say the least and i'm painting over this just to save me the time of having to um draw the old thing again there's no need is there really so um this is so this is like a i guess an underpainting very interesting stuff uh, i can delete this layer we don't need that uh, let's get rid of that. Um, let's lock that layer. Oops, that's not locking it, is it? Let's lock that layer so I don't draw on it. Put it underneath that layer, and then I can start painting on that. And I'm thinking I'm just going to... Let's go to the oil brushes. I've decided I'm going to do an oil painting. I wasn't sure whether I was going to do um, an oil painting or... Uh, or a watercolour. So I'm just using a really big, look at this, a really big brush, uh, which is the flat brush, maxed out at 100 size, loading 100%, wetness is at 45. Um, and I'm just going to start uh, getting some colour on here. And I want to kind of mix it up a bit. This, I guess, can be uh, more subtle than the charcoal sketch. Uh, I, I'm i thinking. I'm looking at the sort of um, original photo. I've got that on another screen. Never done this before, where I've sort of taken a sketch and and this i'm using square brackets now just to resize the brush and, and just completely paint over what's underneath but it's nice because I'm, I'm sort of confident that everything's in the right place because i've already done it once and i'm cool with that still using that square brush 
I'll just extend this a little bit. Just changing it, mixing up that color all the time. Get it towards the blue end rather than the uh, blue end of the spectrum. I didn't really get the god rays in the the pencil sketch. Um, I might I might make a bit more of an effort in this one. can even use the alt key to pick colors off the canvas so if I like say this orange I can grab that and pop that in there I don't particularly like it though but I have got that option if I want So a very different approach to the charcoal sketch, really. And that's down to the effect of the brushes, you know, straight away it makes you, you re respond differently to what you're getting with those brushes. It's already mixing together, which I'm liking. I'm doing really very delicate brush strokes. Barely touching that, that canvas. I'm using a, a canvas, by the way, not uh, a paper. And you can do this, don't forget, you can paint this in any app at all. Krita, uh, Procreate, Artset Pro, um, Realistic Paint Studio, whatever. Whatever you want to use, go for it. So I'm definitely bringing way more color into this now than we had in the original charcoal piece. I like this sort of, look at that where you can see the canvas underneath. towards the purple side a bit I want to go too light and I still want that kind of painterly look Still not going crazy with the brushes, still just using that flat brush. I'm a bit more purple. We could uh, use the alt key and just pick a colour up and just pop that sky all in there. Some blue, light blue around it. There you 
here as well. Yeah. Pick that pink up again. Get a stroke in there. Yeah, that's cool. Digging that. I do tend to find a brush I like and and go with that. And just just keep resizing it to get the effects I want. Blend them together. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to pick the colour up to be honest. And uh I'm going for a sharp edge underneath and then I want to blend it out so I've got the blend there choose it over on this left hand side where it says acrylic I'm using acrylic brushes what I thought I was in oils oh well <laughs> I bet you've all been shouting at me that's acrylic Steve that's acrylic Well, I am going to uh, mix the media then. I'm going to go to oils as well. Just want to soften that off a little bit. There we go. See, it gives it that kind of. Let's say cloudy look. So. Dark again, blend that off. I really like these acrylics actually, they're really nice. I'm digging that effect and then I'm going to use the alt key. Why? So I'm doing an acrylic painting. Uh, not an oil painting. I did. I had no idea I was going to do an acrylic painting. What do I title this? acrylic that thought it was oils I don't know pick that dark color up and then I can just sort of blend it in a little bit just line it up a little bit a bit more color going off there I kind of got the hard edge on the top this time. The the other one we got the hard hard edge underneath. It's to the right hand side, I suppose. Just adds that little bit of uh, something. So I'm putting a lot more effort into the sky than the original piece, or the not. I mean, it wasn't a finished piece, was it? It was just the. Um, Initial charcoal. I don't want to go too light with this uh, because I'm conscious that uh, the buildings are going to be the lightest lights. Don't buy this bit of sky here. I've got. To, I don't think this painting is going to take me a massive amount of time, so that means I will be able to do. The full, um, full blown painting with no edits for you to see, which is always nice. Just put a little bit of yellow in there, maybe a bit of orange actually. I 
think that that's okay for the sky for the minute. So I'm working, I'm just working down the painting, aren't I, really? Let's think about this. Uh, this distant hill. Uh, that's a nice colour. Again, I want to kind of get it in in a sweeping stroke. Colours will be muted, I think. Um, got some distant trees in here. I didn't put these in the original drawing, to be honest. Uh, kept it. might detail up these buildings a little bit more than we had in the, the first one as well just break that line up a little bit oops get the foreground trees in go for a dark blue green This process is quite similar to the uh, initial charcoal. Charcoal drawing. That's too, too light. Meant to be down here. Just putting sort of shadows, purple colored shadows under those trees a little bit. A bit dark still. I wonder what that looks like when I zoom out. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So I've got the distant trees in. Should I do this foreground building? I kind of like this um, the way I've got it almost disappearing into the sky i don't want to deviate from that too much i still want it there but just totally in the background some of those trees in under there Uh, grass a little bit cool I like that maybe even put that on the roof as well dark colour definitely on here
look at the drawing now and I'm thinking it wasn't that accurate, was it really? But you know, never mind. <laughs> I like this kind of tealy blue we've got going off there. I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to just going to change the angle of that. Um, that roof line a little bit. Go. Try and cover up the pencil lines. I don't particularly want pencil lines in in an oil painting or acrylic. This is I'd much rather be seeing brush strokes like that. That's looking better. I keep picking up the the color of the faces. Make me a little bit darker as well. That's in the wrong place, actually. That should be there. Uh, try and lose some of that and then we've got this uh, kind of window a little window going off there so we are putting more detail in this side now that, that we didn't bother with the first time round. But I'm painting in muted colours. And if I paint with a bright colour like that, I will put a muted colour over the top of it. Just to knock it back a bit. I don't want anything too crazy. No, I'm not I'm not painting nice neat squares or rectangles or anything like that. Don't want to be going down that route. That's not what uh, this is all about. A bit of shadow in there. Making adjustments as I go. Could get rid of that original signature. Quite like this broken colour charcoal. That post there. That's, that's really cool. I like that. So using the charcoal drawing underneath with the colours I'd chosen has worked really nice because I can pick them up to use in the painting. So I'm glad I brought in the old reference image and not just um, not just that original sketch because I've made use of my original colours. Pretty much kept it of a similar vein. Just need to look at that last bit of signature there. There we go. That kind of merges into one there. So, yeah, that's nice. I like that. Uh, I am tempted to bring this roof down. Does it matter? Is it is it relevant to the painting that that should be more like that? 
and that can come down a bit and this so can this maybe pop them trees out across there a little bit more Uh, and now on the the photo this is a sort of a dusty pink but in mine you know i've changed things around a bit it's cool that makes kind of all this needs to come down a bit perhaps i don't know We've got these, uh, let's pick that green up. Can't really make out what that is. So I won't bother. I'll just pop a few colors in there for now. Just soften them in there like that. That, that to me all, all just really make that a secondary element by just softening them there what I've just done it's cool I like that the flat brush we've got a flat rough brush as well Dare I, I venture into all the colors let's get some of this water in let's, let's see what we can do with that at this stage I'll just pick the colour off the uh, sky, replicated that into the water, pushing it in nice and big, a bit of the purple as well, alt key. The green of this tree. Pop that in there. A bit of land thing going off. Got a couple of posts I could put in here as well. It's kind of a mixed media painting, isn't it? It's sort of charcoal and acrylic and stuff. Maybe I should label it as that mixed media. It is nice sort of taking, you know, what what is a finished piece, which was the charcoal sketch, and then um, seeing where you can go with it. I don't, you know, I don't see any need to change brush brushes if I'm happy with the effect I'm getting. I'm just dragging brush strokes down there. Look for the reflections in the water of these trees. That's cool. Uh, I might put a little sort of lighter line in there. I know it hasn't got one on the photo, but sort of. But the water's just lapping up at the ground. Get it in here as well while I'm at it. It's nice. Like that. Right, let's think about, I'm saving the buildings till last. It's like, you know, saving your favorite chocolate, chocolate till last. I'm tempted to put a bit of lime green in here, you know, do like a little bit of lime green. That's 
where the light catches that a bit. Maybe along here too and there. These lovely textures we get in. I like it. I do like mixing purples with green, I think they work really well. With nice dark greens as well. And just sort of end that in. I'm using the mode by the way it's just paint and mix and I think that was uh, when I changed the color it selected that automatically because I did go to blend mode yeah look when I choose I'm on blend mode and I choose a color it flicks to uh, paint and mix sort of a default I like that color I'm just wondering if I could just pop a bit of that in there That works nice with the uh, the line. This is coming together quite nicely, you know. Just zooming in a little bit. Um, I'm tempted to work on the sky a little bit more now. I'm just sort of seeing different things in that that uh, I like. I'm just picking the blue off the canvas with the alt key and touching the screen and then adjusting it to get a little bit lighter. Um, a lighter colour and just uh, I kind of still want some colour in it. That's it. That's the what I want. to sort of um, put this sort of billowing effect in. Uh, a bit lighter still, make the brush a bit smaller. Use that blend, oh, it's automatically saving there. Blend it a little bit as well. Got a blender again. I'm just softening off one edge, not both sides, but this is looking all right. Yeah, it's not too bad. A bit more blending there. A bit of purple as well. Don't see me blending stuff much in uh, any of my paintings. Really, this is quite unusual. That's all right. That's nice. I'm 
Well, I'm blending. I'm going to blend some of this uh, yellow as well. Be careful it doesn't get muddy. Back to the blender. There we are. I just felt I needed to do that a little bit. Oops. Back to the blue. Water edges there, that was all. I just a few darks. Like a little bit, yeah, that's nice. I like that. So, we've got the grass done, we've got this building. Um, I kind of like what's going off here. Gotta be a bit careful. So far, everything on this has been done on, on one layer. We've got the original sketch look underneath, but on top we've got this just one layer. Which is uh, quite nice, I'm liking that. I see some blue in here. Blue. Yeah, that's cool. That's like I like that. Paint that in there. Um the uh, highlighted side of the building so i guess to be honest this roof would be uh highlighted as well sort of like that That's cool. Keep this warm colour on, on that bit of roof as well. There would probably be a bit of a shadow under here. So I'll pop that in. And this definitely wouldn't be as white. As this bit here would be the whitest bit I like that and I blend it let's blend that down again yeah I could do that here as well actually oh I don't think we've got much colour on there I think it's mostly uh, the charcoal underneath so Oops. Well, that's interesting. 
minus key equal key to zoom in and zoom out. Just discovered that. Uh, one little window there. That. There's one here as well. Letting colours blend a little bit. There's a tree going off here, so maybe we could bring this blue around there a little bit. Make that tree colour up. So uh, I'm putting lots of suggestions in of detail but it's not really detail is it it's just little suggestions which makes for really fast paintings which is what i like to do i really like to sort of um get a painting done in a sitting really As you know, I'm all a little bit impatient. Quite like that. I, I think that's looking okay. We've got the structure there, all the form and everything. Put that post in there a bit more. Maybe a little bit of something going off there like that. So a lot more uh, detailed than my uh, original sketch, perhaps. Not a bad thing, is it? I've got another little bush here. As you can see, I've already scribbled that in a little bit with that pencil work. Oh, that's way too dark. Better. this nice little bush that's just silhouetting around there and kind of like that that's nice I've exaggerated that a bit but you know that's okay isn't it A little bit of scales back in that tree and around that bush overdone it a bit got this other building here which i pretty much ignored in the sketch uh we'll kind of pop it in a bit just really loosely and we've got the bushes and trees and things in front of it grass colour that can go in there ties that all together quite nice so moving along what's it looking like yeah I like it Moving on to this one then. I'm 
sort of picking colours up that were um, you know in the charcoal sketch and making use of them wherever I can. another building behind that actually oops just like that this sky color can can sweep across there like that go like that pink there we are oh, auto save on there I should really save this actually because the uh, although the auto save works quite nicely I have had situations where I've saved it and then tried to load the auto save and it just keeps crashing so although it is, it is a you know reasonably stable app it can do weird and wonderful things at times well not so wonderful actually <laughs> it can do weird things at times that, that can give you headaches so i'm just going to pause for a second and uh, save this so i'm glad i saved that there because uh, when i tried to save it it says can't save it uh, an error and for some reason i don't know why the folder that i was saving it in had got renamed god knows how that had happened or well, it had just got when i say renamed it had got reset back to new folder uh, so I don't know what was happening there. Uh, so um, that is a thing I am guilty of. Always I forget. Forget a lot to um, save me work. And when I was a, a, a teacher, a lecturer, years ago, um, students had come, come up to me and... and so I've lost my work and I say oh just go go to your back up there <laughs> full of support for them bless them and they'll go I haven't got one what you haven't got a backup I can't believe that and now I'm guilty of it all the time there we go just keep working on these clouds a little bit here and there. So making them, uh, tweaking the colour a little bit and and the the tonal value. Actually working up to. <coughs> Finish piece. Just breaks all doing working on the buildings all the time and so I like to work, I like to sort of skip over, you know, <clears throat> over different areas of the painting and then come back to bits. Like that. Get that colour off the roof just to pop that in there, lighten that up a little bit.
Whoops, that's a bit too dark. I want it light, but still have some color in there. That's... Kind of want this to. Uh, get the blender. Soften off the tops of those. Like that, nice. <clears throat> sort of take the cloud takes you right to that building there. Yep, cool. Right, let's get back to painting the building, and I think I'm. The need I need to just deepen up the tones a little bit. So I'll select that pink and just nudge it. Get a bit darker. That's it. Just make this reference image a bit big for for you. Hopefully, you were to see. Can I um, make that bigger there? Uh, just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm using a different image to look at, but that'll uh, give you an idea. Oops, of uh, where I'm at. I can see a lot more detail on that now, now I've zoomed in. Um, quite useful for me, actually. Uh, this actually goes down more like that. Looking at the sort of perspective of the thing. So there we've got a tree going there, so I can sort all that out in a second. Which means that's going to go lower as well. Which isn't a bad thing. Just tidying up from the original sketch. Just need to, I think that's the, uh, yeah, the wall. Okay, I'll worry about that in a minute. That means this grass comes up to there. Sort of like that. Cool. Pick that teal color, make it a bit darker. And it a little bit. That's sort of working that out, all right. Making extensive use of the blender on this one. Yeah, that's cool.
Um, this canopy thing going off here. And the under that. This is going to be a tree here. Pick this color up here. Almost dark. I like that shape, so I'll stick with that. Put that in, put a little bit of an angle on it, instead of just vertical and straight down. Put these trees in here. Oh. on here here And let's pop this fence in. I don't want it too light. So the temptation there would be to put in a white a white railings because you'd think they were painted white, but look, they're in dark shadow. So you know they wouldn't be white. This all needs adjusting, doesn't it? That's just a come out of like. See I'm liking the look of the side of that house now. <clears throat> Yeah. Let's go to the front. Uh, if, if I look at the roof, it's almost the same color and tone as the walls so it doesn't want to be too it doesn't want to be as light as I've got it Let's just knock it back a bit bring some of that green I like the green color though we go and just lighten that sky up behind it look just so we've got a bit of contrast going off don't like that just, just check the old thing might be too light there let's just pick up some of that blue and put a few um get those strokes in set <laughs> I wanted to get that nice loose look about it still <clears throat> yeah I'll do that as well there it's just so it look it looks so it's part of the same thing going off yeah I like that
and this is where I just changed the colors completely for my um, much brighter lighter color scheme so I've got this cream color on the walls almost white let's, let's go Could add a bit of form to this, I suppose. We've got a roof going across here, look, which I hadn't really paid attention to when I was doing the original sketch because I didn't look at it that close. So let's just uh, tidy that up a bit. Use that blue there look, to the edge of the roof on, maybe a, a little bit of shadow underneath it. And then the white of that window is reflecting. Yeah, under there. I like the roof loose like it is, so I'm probably not going to do anything about that. Pick up that colour and put a stroke in there. That's the side, this side of the window. There, look. the white again um maybe just put that in there like that and the window color I'll just pick that up sort of like maybe Gotta come down like that thing. Oh, it's a dormer wind that's a dormer window there. That's a dormer window, that would probably be in the same sort of shadow there, and I can kind of probably would be in shadow there as well. Just across there, that's a light like that. Got a bit of form coming to it now. Get that blender going. softer then that will be quite hard and then I need so that's this blue dark blue is the shadow so the fascia board would be white like that maybe a bit of color on the roof for the tiles and have them jet white. This bit might be a little bit darker color. Kind of makes a bit of sense. This wind's not long enough, is it? It's just uh. I 
that's the underneath there and then we've got these white posts on there on there and one there making sense now make the door a bit in maybe mix it with a bit of purple these posts wouldn't be quite as white at the top just knock them down a bit are they a little bit thick i think they are just them a bit we've got these windows here on there on one there we've got one on the side there so that needs a wall painting around it Oops. Yep, starting to make a bit of sense now. on there just put paint on I'll face your board again and then the trees let's do the trees Got one here just comes into that shape nicely kind of gets land like that Got one here like this all very nice down to there because I'm moving these railings they're not they're in the wrong place at the minute I'll do <clears throat> pick up this purple color just make it a tad lighter because this is all dark shadow under there but then we've got this wall here like that which means this green can kind of go under there it up as well Not done that building yet so that's okay oops let me pick that up well like that that's it that's what we wanted leave that there like that and these railings are pretty much looking good where they are do i need to do much more to that A bit of pencil line there. Do we need to get rid of it? Possibly. I like that kind of rickety look about those. Um, Think about this being in a bit of light as well. Maybe not just around here. On the edge of the boat. Got a bit of discoloration as well. How's that looking? 
Yeah. Nice. It needs, it does need um, just a big sweeping brush. Over that, just to kind of really soften that up, maybe break it up in the odd place. A bit of green in there yeah that's good what we got with the boat or something with that boat well my boat's a bit different taste in the wrong place for a start um let's just oh way too big a brush it's got to be down in the water, hasn't it? And it ain't down in the water there. <clears throat> Oops, got my microphone there. Sorry. Let's just. Moving that slightly. Ah, that, I see. Yeah, that jetty wall comes down there like that. Yeah, like that. Take that colour along there a bit. And the boat. Just a brush stroke, isn't it, really? We just need an indication that we've got a boat there. I keep picking up the wrong colour. What's that look? And then maybe just a big brush. Pull, pull it down for the reflection. Uh, shadow this side of it would, wouldn't go amiss. About the light coming down. Blend on it. That's it. A really bright light light just on the back end there. Like that. That'll do nicely, thank you. In. While I'm at it, I'm going to um, pick some of these colours up, this big brush, and pop a few verticals in the water.
there. That give the impression of a reflection. It will do when I get the old blender on it. Sort of soften those edges and merge it all together. Bit of horizontal blending as well. Not too far with that. You got you got you got to try and make sure that you don't um, you keep everything in line with the actual objects better A few horizontal flashes in and then that, that will give you the uh, impression of water as well. We're getting there. There's not a lot left to do to this, is there? I might put another layer on and put some shadows on when I've finished. I think that might help a bit. We've got this building. I want the side of this in. It's about the right colour, actually. I just want to tidy it up so it's all. And then I'm reversing the tonal order of some of these colors, making the lights the darkest and the darks the lightest. That will do for that one, I think. Not to overdo this. Likewise, Just shows you how rough the original sketch was. I'm going to look at this now. But the old point was it was just to set out the tonal values, really. It wasn't about being accurate with the colours and things. I like that purple colour there. This one. Some bushes in there, look.
Oops. Just zoom in a bit on this. So I'm going to extend that roof a little bit. I think it needs to come this way as well. Uh, better. It. A bit of shadow on the under eaves. Or window. See. So. Like it. Let's get the shadow, the reflections in. I need to be a, a touch darker than the actual. Uh, yeah, and the, the painting itself. Uh, the, the buildings themselves. I mean, sorry, I'm. Trying to paint and talk is never a good, good thing, is it? I I don't do it well. Put that blue up. I don't think I got the blue actually. Did I? Oh, I did. Yeah. Just put a few flicks in there. Nice. Now, what I want to do now? Experiment shrink this down I don't need this now oh that just disappeared oh it's gone onto my other screen I'll leave it there it's that so it's out of the way um I'm gonna create a new layer set the blend mode to multiply and have the biggest brush I can get 100 percent I'll leave the load in full because I can um I can knock the opacity back later if I want. The kind of a purpley colour I'm thinking. Actually, I'm just going to um, minimise my reference image because it was in the way on the other screen. And I'm trying what I want to do is paint a layer of shadows over here, the sky and the buildings. And I'm hoping this is just going to bring it all together. So that's the sky bit done. Bring it onto these buildings like this. And just leave the um, absolute highlights. Now I can change the brush size a bit. And use the eraser as well in a minute or two. Just zoom in a bit now. Get the eraser and just tidy this up a bit. I think it needs it. I could have 
you know, it took me time, I suppose, and painted this a bit neater. Perhaps I should do, really. Just wherever I think it needs a bit of shadow, just whack it in there. Maybe down there underneath that, behind that a bit. Brush again. Maybe onto the water. if I got a bit dark here whoops Changed it to a blue a bit. Uh, and that just sort of really focuses on that little bit. Pop a bit in there. Big stormy sky. Just now, I'm just going to play with the opacity a little bit. Let's zoom in as big as I can get. Play with the opacity. I think about about there. Yeah, about ninety percent, I think. There we go. Let's save this. Well, let's sign it first. I might as well use the same brush if I can, hadn't I? Um, I'll create a new layer just because that's got multiply on it and you probably won't see it that's too big I don't like it too big there we go and I can just knock the opacity of that down a bit as well because I'm not that egotistical So it's, there we go that's it that blends in nice i see it look how we've we've totally changed let's get that reference image back up uh, even though I've, i mean i changed the, the sky in the original photo i've even changed this scene dramatically to add light in the fronts of the building so I've just changed the light to just give the whole thing um, a, a much more appealing look and gives you something to focus on the angles of the sky draw you to the focal point and all of that good stuff going on in there so and you know I didn't take the photo it doesn't that's and that isn't even the original photo the original photo is two separate photos so does it matter if you are um using somebody else's reference photos to me absolutely not and uh, i got just a much pleasure actually out of painting this one 
and experimenting with it. I'm just wondering if I ought to just flick, just quickly flick a few of these little highlights in the water. Might be quite nice. I've got, I've got this light, light color on here. Um, I'll just create a new layer that I can mess about with opacity and stuff. And then just knock the opacity down a bit. That's a little bit more, don't it? There we go. The finished acrylic painting, mixed media, really, I suppose. Um, not got much of my boat left, just a real little flick. Um, mixed media piece in Rebel 4. Start to finish, two parts. Don't forget, link in the description for the other part. If you've enjoyed this, uh, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. If you're new to the channel please consider subscribing oh and don't forget you, you're all uh, very welcome to check out digital easel uh, the facebook group where um, people that paint digitally in a traditional style can show off their uh, pieces so uh, yeah i hope you've enjoyed this and i will uh, see you all in the next one don't forget everybody stay safe stay sane and keep painting bye